All right, Taurus, the overall energy we have is the Three of Pentacles in reverse for you. Okay, so this is a very one-sided situation. This is probably someone, either there's one person who's putting in all the work and they don't feel appreciated for the work, or there's just someone here uh, in a situation where they just want to leave a third-party situation. Okay, they just don't want to be party to a third-party. Did I just say party? They just don't want to be a part of a third-party situation. Okay, so yeah, but... um someone's still not ready to build with you okay they're not ready to build there's a lack of teamwork here okay there's a lack of teamwork there's a lack of collaboration here as the overall energy is what i'm saying right let's clarify okay so clarify the two of wands in reverse why is the two of wands in reverse as the current situation for taurus why is the two of wands in reverse as the current situation for taurus clarify the two of wands in reverse okay so yes, there is a reunion. Sorry guys. So um someone's indecisive with the two of wands in reverse here as the current situation, okay? Either this person is not being able to make a decision or this person is just playing it safe. All right. So they're trying to uh stick with a safer decision, okay? Something that's not gonna push them outside their comfort zone, okay? And what they're doing is the reason is with the clarification, we have the seven of pentacles and with the three of wands here, okay? So there's someone here who's questioning a long-term investment, okay? Uh, this person could be waiting. Either they're trying to, with the three of wands, they're trying to explore their more options. They're trying to explore what's out there. Or this person is just waiting. I get a lot of waiting energy, okay? They're waiting to, uh, they're waiting to see if, uh, their long-term investment in this relationship, their efforts, if it's going to be fruitful or not. Okay. This is someone waiting and watching. And with the three of wands, I think they're manifesting. I think this person could be someone, look, because bottom of the deck, we have the, uh, the lovers here. Okay. So this person definitely loves you. Uh, they have a lot of love for you. There is a reunion coming up if you guys have split, but this person, there, there's mutual love between you guys. Okay. They see you as a soulmate, but I feel that they're indecisive because they're waiting. Okay. They're waiting and watching if it's a good idea to invest in this relationship at the current moment or not that's what they're doing that's why it's taking so much time a lot of indecisiveness okay they're at a crossroads here they're half and half out Clap for the knight of swords why is the knight of swords here on their mind is the knight of swords if they want to rush in Clap for the knight of swords why is the knight of swords here why is the Knight of Swords here? All right. Of course. This person is very indecisive, okay? Clearly very indecisive. This person cannot make up their mind, okay? We have the Devil here and the Knight of Swords in reverse here. So this person is obsessed with you, okay? They're addicted to you. They're very obsessive obsessed with you granted but with the knight of swords in reverse here this person is not rushing in one second on their mind is that they want to rush in, they want to seize the opportunity they want to come in and talk to you they want to say everything that they have uh been keeping uh, back from you everything that they're holding on to they want to like blah, blah, blah. they want to say everything to you but at the same time they're holding back okay when the devil comes here, yes, it is obsession, it is addiction. But at the same time, with the devil here, there is a fear. Okay, devil is also fear. So if they're attached to something, okay, there is some kind of fear here. Or the devil can also be ego to me. Okay, it does look like a lot of ego to me. It's like, I want to rush in one second, I want to, one second, I don't want to. Okay, that's what's going on in their mind. That's why they're constantly conflicted in their head. Okay, with the two of swords here in the uh, bottom of the deck. Okay, so they need to make a decision, but it's like for them making a decision, it's like, you know what, if I need to make a decision, I feel it's like either I'm all in or all out. That's the kind of decision that they're in between. Okay, because if it, if it were something very, very casual, they wouldn't have been thinking so much. I'm getting that this person is stuck between a rock and a hard place, okay, with the toe of sword here. And also with the death here, I feel that something's ended between you guys. There's something ended between you guys and probably that's why they're in two minds. Probably they're questioning the connection if you want to invest in them or they're waiting for you to make the investment. It could be anything, okay? There's a lot of waiting game. There's a waiting game here. Clarify the page of pentacles. Why does this person view Taurus as the page of pentacles? Why does this person view Taurus as the page of pentacles? They know you want to talk with the page of pentacles. They know you want to talk. Okay, with the page of wands here and the eight of cups in reverse. This person 
definitely knows that you haven't walked away. Okay, they know you can't move on. They know you're stuck onto them. They know you're going nowhere. With the page of wands here, they know that you still want to talk. You want to communicate with them. And with the page of pentacles here, I feel they know that you want to invest in them. Okay, you want to offer an olive branch. If there has been a flight or conflict between you guys, they know that you want to offer some stability or at least you want to have a sensible conversation. Okay, like, you know what, like, let's talk like, what went wrong you know like can we restart this again or at the same time i think this person also views you as someone who wants to give something a situation a whole new approach all right but with the page of swords in reverse here they feel that you're watching from a distance you can spy on them you can watch them but you're not going to talk to them okay that's what they're doing uh that's what you're doing actually so they know you're spying and stalking on them they know you're watching but they know that at the same time you're holding back okay okay all right, what is this? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? This is in their deepest emotion. So they want equal give and take. This, they don't want it to be a one sided situation, which is, anyways, the overall energy of your reading, okay? So this person wants to give now. If this is someone who was not giving into the situation, who was not reciprocal about this before, they now want to give in, okay? They want it, they want it to be fair and balanced, okay? It could be it could be an equal exchange of something. It could be communication. It could be emotions. It could be conversations. But they want an equal balance, okay? And that's what's in their emotions. Clive of the Six of Pentacles. Clive of the Six of Pentacles. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Ten of Cups. So this person definitely clearly sees you as their end-all be-all, okay? They want this happy family with you. They want the kids. They see you as someone who emotionally fulfills them to the best, okay? That's the Ten of Cups. That's the card of marriage, long-term commitment, okay? You emotionally fulfill them to a very uh, very high level. And they see you as someone who's very, very... um not see you, but in their emotions, they want to contribute in this relationship, okay? They want to build with you. But with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here, I think they're waiting for things to change, okay? They're waiting for something, uh, for, for the wheel, for the wheel to flow in their favor. That's what they're waiting for. They just feel that the timing is off, okay? They want to give you, they want to give to this relationship, but, um, they want this happy family with you, but they just feel the timing is off, okay? And with the star in reverse here, I feel that this person is losing hope and faith in this connection, okay? it's because the timing is up and this person does not have patience okay there's like they're probably overindulging into something overindulging into um negative thoughts it can be overindulging into anything okay but they're not in the right state of mind they're not being able to wait for divine timing okay all right why is the five of wands here why do they want to move forward with Taurus with the five of wands why is the five of wands here Oh, yeah. Okay, so with the death and the three of cups here, I feel that this person wants a whole new transformation with you, okay? With the death, this is endings and new beginnings, but at the same time, this is shedding the old and getting into completely something completely new, okay? Uh, I think with the five of wands here... Um, I think this person wants to fight for you. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, the five of wands are standing up for oneself, but fighting competition. They want to fight for you. They want, this is strife. Okay, so they want this. They know that there's a lot of struggle to get you, to be with you, but they want this. With the three of cups here, they want to get together. They want to be on the same page. And with the death here, I feel this person wants this relationship to be completely transformed. Okay, and for that, with the five of wands here, I think they know that it's it's not going to be easy. Either there are too many people between you guys or you guys, it's just going to take some time before you guys get on the same page, okay? But there's a lot of drama involved before you guys get through this, okay? And that's why the death here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So this person is at a halt right now, okay? We already know that because with the Two of Wands in reverse here, this person's indecisive and on their mind with the Knight of Swords, we already saw it was clarified by the Knight of Swords in reverse. So they're holding back. They're holding back a lot, okay? So right now, if you ask me, this person, yes, they want to fight for you. Yes, they want to fight all the competition. Yes, they want a reconciliation. Yes, with the death card, they want a complete transformation. They don't want to resist this change. They want to completely transform this relationship. They want to let the old way of thinking die. But at the same time, they want the four of wands. Okay, they want this long-term commitment. They want this relationship. But yes, they're not pursuing or chasing you right now. Okay, why I always insist on the current moment is because tarot is all about the now. Okay. Tara is all about the current moment okay so I'm not gonna say they're never chasing you you know 
I'm saying this now. Probably within 15 days, they're just chasing you. Okay, and then you're gonna be like, "What the fuck, Nemo?" Like you just said, they weren't. No, so it, that doesn't work for that. Okay, so right now, when you're watching the reading, this is what I'm going to say to you. Back at the Six of Swords in reverse. Why is the Six of Swords in reverse? All right. So what you don't see uh, at the back, uh, what what you don't see coming, or this is what uh, is uh, the blockages with the six of swords in reverse here. Someone is resisting change. Someone's resisting change. Okay, they're not ready to uh, go through that change. Someone have a fear of change. But here, what's clarified by is the sun and the hierophant. Okay, so I feel this person clearly either this person is married and they're not being able to transmit and they're not being able to get into till they don't leave this relationship they're not going to be able to have this happiness with you or this person is resisting a change because uh with the hierophant here i feel this person is uh, afraid of commitment okay and with the sun here they see all the happiness with you they see that you are their happiness okay but i think the problem here is with the six of swords in reverse this person is not ready to embrace change is what i'm getting with the king of cups in reverse here i feel this person is emotionally very very unavailable and this person could be watching you from a distance spying you but they're just not saying anything they want things to move forward like very quickly but That's just how the mindset is, right? Maybe this is someone who you're dealing with who's not very uh, traditional, okay, and someone who likes to break away from tradition. But I think that's what's behind the scenes. So that's the blockage. That if you, if they need to get into this relationship, it can be either ways. Either they're married, and if they want to get into this relationship, they need to embrace change and they need to walk away from something that is. Uh, not keeping them happy or there a lot there's a lot of turmoil going on within their head okay they're very indecisive right now that's what i can hear or or probably they just are resisting this entire change this entire transition that they have to go through okay in order to be with you in a long term commitment or in order to be with you in this marriage or whatever okay but with the sun here they see you as their happiness okay with the 10 of cups here they want everything with you so this is not about you cross watcher or taurus this is not about you taurus i mean this is about the person that you're dealing with whoever this is vice versa i see this entire reading about them it's like it's because of them that the entire thing is on hold okay it's more like yes i want an equal give and take you know i want an equal give and take i i i want the happy family i i want to rush in you know i want to rush in and tell you everything i want to fight for this relationship you know i want this commitment with you i see you as my end all be all okay but I'm not doing anything about it. With the Knight of Swords in reverse, but I'm holding back. I'm not rushing into it. Okay, I'm going to take my own time. So maybe this person is just going to take their own time before they come in towards you and give you everything that you've always wanted. Okay, I I, I think that's what it is. Sorry, guys. Okay. Your advice is the Ten of Swords. So I guess that there has been an ending between you guys. Something, either something ended badly here. Okay, maybe this was a breakup that ended badly, or uh, someone feels backstabbed and betrayed. But that's your advice. Okay, it's more like you know what, accept it. Okay, that things have ended between you guys. Uh, I'm, I need to clarify before I give you any advice. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Okay, two more cards here. All right, so we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. We have the Justice, and we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Something's definitely left a bad taste in your mouth, uh, or you're holding a grudge towards this person. Okay, the Montoris. That's not mature. All right, so with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Justice and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, so I feel that whoever you're dealing with, they're very, very hung on to a commitment. Okay, they're very stuck on this commitment. Okay, so with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I feel that till there is going to be no justice, till you're not going to be able to rectify the situation, till you're not going to be able to do justice to the situation, I don't think you should take action. Okay, just just stay back. And with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I feel you need to do more homework. Okay. So accept that the defeat is there. Accept that it's over. Accept that whatever had to happen, it's happened. It's done. It's over. Okay. So get over it. Accept 
uh, that the situation has ended. All right. That's one of the advices. Okay. Don't try to keep on convincing yourself that, oh, you know what? Like, because look, with the Ace of Pentacles and Reverse here, it's that like you're trying something again and again and again, but there is a lack of a new beginning here. Okay. And with the Queen of Wands and Reverse here, I feel you're losing interest. You're losing passion in the, in, uh, in the situation because you're looking for justice. You're looking for equal give and take. Okay. You're looking for a balanced situation. You're looking for a situation where, you know what? You get what you want. Okay. Or you get what you deserve rather. And, you need to accept the fact that with the Ten of Swords, you're, it's over. It's done, okay? You need to accept, stop denying that fact, okay? And understand that if you need to work towards this, you need to get this time, okay? You cannot rush into this. And um, you need to be very confident with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse here, okay? You are being very insecure. You're coming from a place of being very clingy and needy towards this person, okay? So your advice is, it's okay if it's done, okay? Rebuild from scratch. It's okay. It's okay if you raise the white flag, you know, and like, okay, you know what? I give up. That's fine. But with the Ten of Swords here, what I'm also getting is don't play the victim so much, okay? Like, oh, this was done to me. That was done to me. That, all right, okay. If it's over, it's over. That's fine. So you have two choices. Either you want to restart and rebuild with this person when this person comes in towards you, or then let it go. Okay, don't be in between, okay, because that's the fuck up. That's where things get screwed up, okay. That's when it, it screws your mind, okay, because you're in between. Neither are you in a committed relationship with this person, nor are you a friend, okay. It's like friend zone, and being friend zone, that sucks, really. Your advice, um, your likely outcome is the three of cups in reverse, okay. So I'm assuming that you guys, um, I think there's someone, I think there are too many people involved in this relationship, okay? Either there's a third party involved here, okay, because of which you guys can't come together, or there are too many people involved here and they're trying to sabotage this connection, okay? Okay, time for the three of cups in reverse. I still think there's a lack of a reunion and reconciliation here. Again, because, time for the three of cups in reverse. Again. So they want to come in and express their feelings to you with the Knight of Cups here or with the Knight of Swords in reverse here. They're holding back. Who are you dealing with? Seriously. This is clarified by the Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So there's still that sneaky, deceptive behavior. Okay, that's why they're holding back. That's why there's no reunion. This person is, I don't know what they're doing. They're withholding a lot of information. The Seven of Swords, yes, it is a cheater. We have the Three of Cups here in reverse. Look. I don't see this as cheating because it's not there anywhere in their emotions. They want to equal, equal give and take. They want to rush in. They want to talk. They want everything with you. So I don't see this as cheating, but the likely outcome there is again a delay in a reunion and a delay in a reconciliation. Okay. Why? Because with the five of wands, this person's very conflicted in their head. And with the seven of swords here, this person is trying their best to avoid and ignore this situation. Okay. Maybe it's ego. Maybe it's ego. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's very, very egoistic. Okay. They're like taking their own time again and again. I'm hearing this is someone you're dealing with who's taking their own sweet time to come towards you. Okay. So Taurus, it's up to you if you want to wait for this person or not. But this person, they want to come towards you. They want everything with you. Yes. Uh, they have some fear of commitment. Yes. But this person wants to come towards you, but they're not decisive. Okay. They're just not indecisive. One second they want to come towards you, the second moment they want to back up. Okay. So it's up to you. If you want to wait, you can wait. And if you want to move on, you can move on. But one thing with the advice here, something ended badly here, accept it. Okay, just accept it. Don't be in denial of something, okay? Because it's just, you're just lying to yourself at the end of the day, all right? Okay, Taurus, I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Please like, share, subscribe. That'd be really cool. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.